Hi, welcome to get, Getting Ready With Me for this brand new year. So first I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation with the Max Concealer and a bit of the L'Oreal BB Cream which I've mixed up together, found that this has worked best for my skin type and I'm just smoothing it all over my face. I love the Double Wear Concealer just because it's got such a full coverage um, well, it is a full coverage foundation and I don't even need to use any concealer on top even though I am using the Max Studio Finish Concealer um, or oh, is it, sorry, the Select Cover-Ups Concealer uh, mixed in it but it's a darker shade just to sort of make it so it's even for my skin colour and I use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush just to put it all over my face and I love that the brush is like nice densely packed foundation brush. My eyes tend to have quite dark pigmentation as well so I always go over with the foundation over my eyelids and eye area also and then I just blend it towards the edges of my face as well so it looks even and I always go over another layer on my skin just to pack it on and cover any dark pigmentation spots that I've got on my face. Now I'm using my Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo in on and on bronze and I absolutely love this as a base for my eyeshadows. I rarely use it by itself but if I put any powder shadows on top it lasts all day long without fail and there's no creasing at all. And then I'm using a lilac shade from this random palette which I got off Amazon for really cheap. The eyeshadow quality from this palette are amazing. I'm just packing it all over my eyelids on both eyes obviously. But absolutely love the pigmentation of the colours and it's really cheap and there's about 50 colours that you get in the palette. Just using my fingers to apply the eyeshadow because I find that it's um, best applied with my fingers so it gets the maximum intensity of the colour. And I'm using a new eyeshadow that I've got from Soap and Glory and it's in Dandy Plum. I got it from one of the Christmas palettes from the Eyes Box and just using that with my Real Techniques shading brush I think and just putting it in the corner and the crease of my eyes and just blending it away just to give a bit of definition to the outer corners of my eyes and just slightly blending it along my lower lash line as well. Then with a vanilla shade from the Soap and Glory eye, eye Box palette, I'm just putting it on my inner corners just to brighten up the area. With the 17 blush in Nude, I'm going to use it sort of as a contour under my cheeks and br um, brush it towards brush it uh, blush it towards my hairline. And I'm using the Duo Fiber Face Brush from Real Techniques also. Absolutely love these brushes. And I find that it just defines my face slightly. I'm using a Glossy Box blusher that I got in one, from one of the Glossy Boxes. It's like a lilac -y um, matte shade, absolutely love that one as well and I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheek just for an extra hint of colour. I'm using the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder in the colour 040 medium slash deep and just applying it all over my face where I haven't applied any other product just to set my foundation so it will last all day long and again I'm applying it with the Duo Fibre contour brush. I prefer the contour brush as my face brush and the 
face brush as my contour brush. But I love these brushes as they do pick up minimum product so you don't get that cakey look on your face. I'm using a, a, I think a lip and cheek stick from e.l.f. and it's in the colour lilac sh petal or something and I'm using that as a highlight shade for my cheekbones. Again from the eyes box from the Christmas palette I'm using the eyeliner and it's called the Small Decol Super Black Water Eyeliner and using that as for my waterline and my tight line and I'm just slightly winging it out. This is what I tend to do every day if I'm wearing an eyeliner. I always wing it out with the liner, not with a brush or a liquid liner. And I find that this one's pretty long lasting as well and it's really pigmented. And now I'm going to be using the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Volumizing Mascara. It's called the Super Volume Mascara and I absolutely love this. I can't say it more than enough how I love this mascara. It really separates and volumizes my eyelashes. I don't even tend to use an eyelash curler anymore because well, first thing I'm a bit lazy and I find that my eyelashes don't tend to droop. It sort of holds them holds the lashes up anyway and it really is a nice wand just to separate all my lashes I think I got this one in the Soap and Glory gift set from Boots last year they had it in the Soap and Glory big gift set this year as well I think but I also got an extra one in the eyes box from the Christmas palette from Soap and Glory so I've got backup one for when that one finishes and now I'm using the Benefit Therial Mini Mascara which I've had for a while and I love pairing them both together so this one on top and this one just adds that extra bit of volume and again it's got the spike it's a plastic spiky one it does hurt sometimes as I tend to poke it in my eyes but it's really nice to put on top and add that extra bit of length and separate my lashes even more and I'm taking a number seven eyebrow pencil just it's in the colour black I think so for my eye colour and just brushing brushing it through my eyebrows and it's got the brush end on the other side which I use I tend to change up my eyebrow products quite often I either use an old mascara or one of these pen eyebrow pencils and I've got one of the Apocalypse Lip Lacquers from Rimmel London and this one is in the shade Eclipse, absolutely love this one again it's a really nice dark shade for these wintry months and it's got such a nice pigmentation the taste, well I've not really tasted it but um, the formulation of these are really glossy and the darker colours are obviously long lasting because they tend to stay in your lips and then I've got a random Avon lipstick, a really cheap one from the Colour Shop range I think in the colour wine wine winter wine so I'm just layering that on top so I find this is quite a wearable red for me that's my finished look really love these products and have been loving them throughout the year and will continue using them and I got these boots recently from New Look size 2 because my feet are really tiny absolutely love the detailing they've got like a buckle on the outside of them and they have a zip on the inside they fit my feet perfectly and they're really comfortable I've been loving my earmuffs for the past I think three or four years now and I don't know what I do if I lose this because I cannot find something similar to this anywhere so absolutely love it 
and I've got this nice new knit jumper from New Look also from the sale. It's a nice burgundy maroony colour. It's quite holly but quite warm. And I absolutely have been loving this skater skirt. It's a really nice length. It's not too many but just the right length and you can wear it high up and it's really nice because it's skater. It's flattering on the shape as, of my body as well. And I've been loving this natural collection um, body mist spray. It's in the colour well, flavour passion fruit or something and love the smell of that and it's fairly long lasting. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!